Hey, what's up, guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. Ilan Omar took to Twitter to say that, let's be clear about this, if a Muslim woman was nominated to the Supreme Court, you would see Republicans lose their minds about her religious background. Sharia law would be trending right now. The beloved representative from Minnesota was recently caught harvesting ballots, but I guess we've moved past that to now take the moral high ground on the Supreme Court issues. And so she's actually right about this. And the reason she's right isn't for why she thinks she's right. Sharia is a different form of government. It is antithetical to the U.S. Constitution. It's antithetical to liberty. It's antithetical to human flourishing. Look at the economies where Sharia has been enforced and make your own judgments about how they're doing in terms of flourishing. They're not doing well because it's an oppressive anti-woman, anti-reality, anti-truth culture that rules with fear, violence, and intimidation. It is not based in reality. It is not based in truth. They deny the triune nature of God. They deny the bodily resurrection of Christ. They deny that Jesus is fully God and fully man. The standard of truth is God's word in any situation. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter your preference. Truth is always based on a person, a personal standard, because God is immutable and does not change. He's all-knowing. You can actually know things, and he's revealed himself to you through creation, conscience, and his word. Woo, woo. But if you reject his word and try to abrogate that because you want to come up with a new religion, uh, it's not going to be based on what's actually true. And that causes all kinds of problems for societies. Again, look at the economies where Sharia has been enforced. Sharia should be fully rejected. It's evil. It's demonic. It's anti-God, anti-liberty, anti-freedom, and it's anti-the U.S. Constitution. So hopefully our representative can uh, understand that. When it comes to Amy Coney Barrett, she has her own issues, but equating these two is not the same. This is a heckler's veto. This is an ad hominem. Uh, it's not based on her qualifications for the position or her desire to uphold the U.S. Constitution. Uh, do all Catholics believe the same things? No. Do all Muslims believe the same things? No. But all consistent Catholics and all consistent Muslims would have a very similar belief pattern, and that therein lies the issue. A true believer is one that takes God's word for what it is. This is the same with Christians. Just claiming to be a Christian does not make it so. You must be born again. God redeems the elect. He chooses whom to save. He regenerates the heart. They respond in faith and repentance in the death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ, the second person of the triune Godhead. You must repent and believe the gospel because today is the day of salvation, which is good news for anyone. It's good news for any religious person or irreligious person because there's only one way to be made right with God. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hammer that like button. Like the comment sections will be hammered. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless.